there is resistance in human beings to accept the spiritual force. But gradually, people are changing. I travel around the world and I find in every country, there is general awareness of the need for spirituality, of the need to control our unbridled technology, intellectual trampling upon others, aggression, that we need to control all these and there is no answer available except spirituality. Therefore, people are turning spiritual by themselves. What can spirituality do to control these monsters? Spirituality does not go and stop the bombs from falling. Spirituality is not miracle making so that the shuttles should fail and that other things should happen in such a way that we have to stop. Spirituality changes the awareness of human beings. Spirituality makes a change in the attitude of human beings. Spirituality makes us look at things differently. Spirituality gives us a sense of certainty of the purpose on li of life, certainty about the purpose of our existence on this earth. Spirituality is performing a profound function, a function of altering man's consciousness, man's whole experience of this universe. Spirituality is not merely performing miracles to stop man from his own destructive course. Spirituality is not changing the bombs, not changing the war planes, not changing the instruments of armor and warfare. It is changing the minds of human beings. It is changing human beings themselves. Spirituality is the hope we have in which we can expect that the change will take place in such a way that we change from within, not from outside. Spirituality can give us the opportunity of looking at this universe as an opportunity, as an endowment, as a gift which the Lord has given us. We have reached that point when we can see the beauty of nature. In this country, United States, I find such a large number of people are today craving for that kind of knowledge which gives them a total view, a view of oneness, a view of allness. People are calling forth for peace and harmony in the name of these qualities of human beings, these qualities of the human soul, these qualities of the spiritual nature of a human being. They are expecting that the new leadership will evolve in these areas. We have given far too much importance to political leadership. We have given far too much importance to ritualistic religious leadership. We have given far too much importance to leadership in the economic areas, in material areas. The time has come when we should be able to give importance to the spiritual leaders. And more and more spiritual leaders are evolving. There is more intermingling of spiritual leaders between the East and the West than ever before. There is more understanding of the point of view of each now than ever before. I have never seen people understand the Eastern concepts so well in the West as now. Nor have I seen the predicament of the West being appreciated so much in the East than now. There are in the East a large number of new developing countries. They are looking at the experience of the West and hearkening to themselves. Let us not repeat the same mistakes. We can make the same mistakes and lead to self-destruction. So this kind of situation which can be seen now is the real fruit of spiritual development and spiritual evolution. Spiritual evolution on this earth has come to a stage where the whole globe can take advantage of it, turn man into not a monster of aggression and war, but an instrument in peace and harmony upon earth. Thank you.